What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Black Desert Online, continuing our Witch. We probably only have about two or three more episodes of this before the beta is over. These will run past the beta into... I'm hoping Friday. Depends on how I decide to space them out. But I'm hoping we make it to Friday. That's, that's the overall goal. Um, I'm running a little bit short on time today to record, so we, this may, we may have two shorter episodes in order to kind of satisfy what I want to get out. Um, not shorter, but like not no 50-minute episodes or anything like that. Probably hovering closer to the 20-minute mark. Okay, so we need to start this quest up. This is where we are. Hmm, I'm so bored. How long do you, or how long do I have to stand here? Oh, how long have you been standing there? Me? I'm keeping the town safe. Sometimes. There are people that make pointless bets to see who can swim to Crone Castle faster. Can you see the castle towering over there? That's called Crone Castle. There was a huge explosion there once. Ha ha ha. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, it's been so long since I've chatted with someone. I got carried away. Now that I think about it, why are you here? Did you have a question? Okay. So now we need to talk to Alustin the Alchemist. I really like the concept of the Ranger, but man, does the Ranger make it hard to play this game. I, I still haven't quite made up my mind, depending on what's released, because I really do like the concept of the Valk as well. So I'm not entirely sure quite yet what we're going to be doing. I guess every character gets these. So we'll use this. And then I guess, do we have, does the mail go to every character? The mail, I don't know. Beta challenge goal complete. Um, I want those on my main character, I think. I don't, I don't think I want to use them on. How do I look at pets? Oh, I guess, do pets carry over? I guess. I guess pets carry over. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll redeem that on stream. Um. You already have seen it on stream, but let's talk to all Liston. Welcome. You must be the one Captain Cliff spoke of. Oh, I see. You lost your memories after being engulfed by the black energy. Nevertheless, you still managed to keep your sanity. This is rare. Maybe it's related to your lost memories. Perhaps you were an adventurer even before this incident. Why don't you go on an adventure to find your memories? You might even run into someone who remembers you. It'd be good to get some rest before you leave. The village chief loves adventurers. Okay, so now I gotta go talk to Bartali, Chief of Velia. Textures are having a little bit of an issue loading in. Alright. Igor Bartali. Greetings, adventurer. Welcome to Velia. So what brings you here? Tell me about your adventures. Why don't you go rest at the Lunar Halo Inn? My wife is ma currently managing it. The food there is quite outstanding. If you want, I can get you a room for free with a comfortable bed. Please stay the night. I'd love to hear about your adventures. Okay, so now we need to go in here and spend the night. Free? Looks like you lost more than your memories. Ha ha ha. How about at this price? Uh, the price is set so low, you might as well say that it's free. That's true, but our Bartali cannot go back on their word. I do not have something to ask of you, though. My granddaughter has nightmares, and she needs a necklace that is infused with, the, with spirit power to keep them away. I'm just so glad Alustin was able to help. However, the necklace needs to be reinfused regularly. That's why I gave it to Eileen, but I forgot to get it back from her. Can you get the necklace from Eileen and bring it to my granddaughter? Okay. Good thing is, is I know how to do all these quests, kind of, because I've already done them. Alright, Eileen. Ah, are you referring to the necklace Islin gave me? Just in time. Everything is all set, huh? You want to know more about the experiment I just did? I am much diligent, or I am much more diligent than you think. As promised, here is the necklace. Ah, it's very hot. Please be careful not to burn your fingers. Emma Bartali is the chief's granddaughter. She's been suffering from frequent nightmares. Sometimes Emma's nightmares can get so bad that she can't wake up. 
This necklace was significant or specifically made to treat nightmares. Emma lives at Bartali Farm, which isn't too far from here. Follow this road and you'll see a small farm. Hmm. I have to study alchemy, but I need a more a bit more data or I need more data. If I examine the parasitic bees, I might be able to make a better potion. Can you help with my research, please? I'll reward you when I become a great alchemist. Okay. I'm going to go talk to Emma Bartali. I think the main thing that'll happen when I get the full game is I'll have a character... I'll have one character for streaming... Probably one character for YouTube videos and one character for just doing whatever the heck I want on it. So I'll probably have three characters that I roughly main from time to time. Um, and so I will assume probably the mage will be, the witch will be YouTube. Let's do this and then I'll continue talking about that. You brought my necklace. I am guessing this was from my grandmother. I experienced nightmares frequently without this necklace. I should have been the one to get the necklace back from my grandmother. Thank you so much again. You, or yes, you want to know more about my dreams? Oh, well, you see Awaz Hill over there? I always see l these little spirits quietly crying. When I try to go and confront them, or comfort them, something always seems to get in the way. Then these black spirits with beady red eyes would appear out of nowhere and chase after me. Huh? Did you say that you went to or you want to head over to Al Awaz Hill? The place is infested with goblins. It's too dangerous. But if you still want to go to Azwaz Azwaz Hill, I suggest that you talk to Grusha first. Don't let his appearance fool you. He's actually very sensible and wise. Runaway chicken. Oh, welcome. I'm in trouble now. I woke up this morning to check the coop, and one of the chickens is missing. Did it already leave the farm? Can you look for it, please? Okay, Grusha. Go talk to Gresha the Scout. But, yeah, back to what I was saying. I will probably have the the witch be kind of the off-stream. Because it's kind of an easy, boring character to play. Uh, there's not much tension with it. I mean, you just cast magic and you destroy everything. You destroy all the cluster mobs. It's, pre it's I don't know, it's pretty easy. I'll probably do that as like my chill character. Um... And then I'll probably do my ranger on stream again, because I do really like my stream. And then, depending on how many characters we get at full launch, if we get just these six characters, I'll do a sorceress for YouTube. Uh, if, uh, we'll continue this in a second. As I was checking out the situation, Ock, why are some parts in Goblin? It's been so long since I've come across another human that I can't seem to tell whether I'm human or goblin. Hmm. What you want information so that you can slay all the goblins? Why us goblins? Wait, I'm, I'm human. I'm human. No, I can't give you any information, even if Emma asks. I wouldn't. I bet even the goblins are nicer than you. No, my mission is to scout. I must complete my mission, right? We must get rid of them all. We can't even leave one goblin alive. Okay. So now we need to go defeat groups of goblins. But if we get other stuff, the YouTube series will either be on a Valk or a Dark uh, Knight, depending on what we get. My weapons are crap. It's like the circle of this game. Your weapons are crappier than you think. I mean, this attack is still just stupid. It's still far too easy to just sit here and spam this attack. And it didn't hit anything. What is that? Use a mana potion. Okay, we already got 11 down. Like, this is the e this is so easy to use this character. That's why I'm saying it's kind of like it'll be my character that I kind of chill on and relax. I'll probably start up a guild when this comes out. I just haven't messed with it in-game because your crap doesn't carry over really, so I don't really see the point of it. This dagger is just a beastly on this character. Go. Oh, 
chain it onto the other goblins. Okay, so we're 19 out of 25. Just smack them and then you dagger them. Come here. Die from my dagger. Okay, so there's 21. I want to find a cluster. Here we go. We got a little cluster of them up here. Why? Do... Uh, oh, I don't have enough mana. Okay, I was like, what is happening? So light work. One more goblin just needs to die, and there we go. Oh, those back attacks are so good. And right, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I gotta use a mana potion. I was gonna see if I can make it to the next level up, but we're not even close. I love the daggers in this game. Both of them that I've used, they are really nice. Alright, I think this is safe. Okay, I actually have to go back. All the way back over here. But yeah, that's, that's the plan. So I'll have a casual character that I'll show and talk about every once in a while, like every week and a half or something like that. But I'll have my two mains that you guys will see and then a side main that you won't always see. You're much stronger than I thought. You even managed to defeat the elite soldiers. But this is far from over. Us goblins will rise up again. Our chief has been hiding and saving up his strength. Although you can't see him now, I know he'll return one day. And when that day comes, you humans are finished. What about Emma? She'll become a goblin too. No, this isn't right. Why did I say we should turn her into a goblin? Right, right like me. All the goblins are in high spirits. Let us, I mean, in order for us to get rid of the goblins, we should destroy their homes. They will definitely resist. Okay. So now we gotta go back and we gotta destroy goblin watchtowers, sculptures, and cauldrons. We're getting close to fighting the goblin, dude. All right. There's a cauldron down. So I found one cauldron so far. I remember these weren't the easiest things in the world to find. So here's a watchtower. There's one watch. Oh, you only had to destroy one. So then here's a sculpture. Oh, this is a tower. There we go. Let's get the cauldron over here. I need... Okay, I guess it just... I guess these sculptures work. It doesn't want the big sculpture. Just the little one. There we go. Alright, there's two sculptures. We need one more cauldron and one more sculpture. Okay, so here's the final sculpture I need. Then we'll just have to find... Oh, I see a cauldron. Oops, one more hit. There we go. And just gotta come back here and get this cauldron. Want to get these two kills off, and then, all right. So now I just gotta get out of here. So I can. Ch oh no, I actually gotta go back. I think. Yeah, we gotta go back. Turn this quest in. Okay. Guess I can't destroy that. I was gonna destroy that as I left, but I guess I can't. All right, run.
I guess we're back to... Which is fine. I'm I guess I'm back to having to talk to the dark, the black spirit. So let me run off a little bit here, get this a little bit safety. Okay. Quest, Proud Goblin. Hee <laughs> hee, can you feel it? We are stronger together. This world we venture into, it has... Days and nights, we will get pitch dark at night. When darkness falls, it may become hard to find your way around. That's when a lantern will become handy. I'm sure it will be help. it'll be of great help to you. Do you feel that? We're not alone. I sense a powerful presence nearby. Do you want me to summon the Goblin Chief just like how I summoned Red Nose? I hope you're prepared. The Goblin Chief is much stronger compared to the regular goblins. You may wind up dead if you're not careful. Don't worry, he he. You have me by your side. Do you think Grusha will be surprised if we defeat Gaieth? I can't wait to see the look on his face when we tell him. Alright, so we can complete that. Okay, so I need to slay Gaieth. Means I need to come over here and summon Gaia. The good thing about this character is that extra mobs being there aren't an issue because I just can shock them all at the same time. The biggest issue that I've faced so far on the Ranger is when there's extra little mobs with a boss, it creates a lot of little issues. Okay. Where is the scroll? Is there anything else I want to use that I have here? Oh, you can have two earrings on, so that's good. Alright, let's summon the Goblin Chief. Reminds me of the, uh, what's it, the Capra Demon from Dark Souls. Is it Capra? I think it's Capra. Get out of the menuing, get out of the menuing. That's the only problem that I have with this is that... is that sh the mobility that I get off of this character is not as good. The dodges are really easy out of this. And it... I mean, it's not bad. You chain in. It takes a little bit of you getting used to, but... It does chain really nicely. Oh, I'm trapped in the corner. Full electrocution off. Oh, gosh, drop, dodge back, dodge back. Okay. See, I mean, this is what I say about the witch being like a little bit too easy. I mean, I'm pretty much just dodging around here like nothing. Oh, he's going super ham. Except he's his AI is being like uber stupid. What, what are you doing? I'm. Just, can I get out of the corner? Thank you. right I mean it's pretty much just the mega cheese here yeah. 
I don't know what he's doing. Oh, okay, got hit. All right, not a big deal. Just dodge back. I can't move. I can't see. He's a little bit quicker to attack this time. Your your windows aren't as long to just sit here and wail on him with the lightning. Still pretty crazy. I'm gonna back up. Ah, I still got hit by that. Dang it. Let me use another healing potion. There we go, slight work. I mean, it's just a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit too easy to use the witch. I mean, you literally just dive around and pretty much just chill. I mean, there's not much to it other than that. I'm gonna destroy these goblin souls. I mean, if you want to cluster up, I'll stop and fight mobs like this all day because they're all clustered up. They're really easy to kill. I mean, just look at this. Too, too easy to farm experience like this. Especially when you're chaining it into the little goblins that are just super weak. Can I j just hit that guy? Thank you. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, Emma Bartali. Forgive me, I followed you because I was worried. The monster you, rec you defeated recently appeared in my nightmares, Grusha. Please understand that's, be that's because he was fully dedicated to the his mission. He will come back to his senses soon enough. I can tell that Gaieth is not a goblin. It is very similar to the black energy I saw in my nightmare. Like Grusha, he's a human wearing a goblin's mask. To be willing to change so much to protect something, it may be related to the vengeful soul that I saw in my nightmare. Everything is starting to become clear. When I was a child, I heard about a cave where a ghost would appear. Can you give me a hand? I am sure we can find some clues in that cave. Eileen says that only a medium can talk with souls. Adventurer, please help me. I need to get rid of my nightmare. There's a myth that the ghosts of the people who used to live in the castle are still inhabiting that place. Oh, Elwa on Alwaz Hill, you can find a shining flower that rarely blooms. The ghost of Crone Cave will respond to that flower. I'll be waiting for you at the hill near Crone Castle. Okay, so now we need to pick the wildflower. But I think this is a good spot to stop. We just defeated a boss. Turn the quest in. So I think this is a good place to call it for now. And then in the next episode, we will take on more uh, pressing things. We got a new staff. Uh, we got the Aswell staff. Also got a necklace. So we can equip that. And we got an inventory slot up. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.